Hello, I'm Andrew, an artist at Uber Entertainment, and I want to show off some of the, the new uh, rigging tools I've built in Python for Maya. And uh, if you want to check them out for yourself, they're up here on GitHub. That way, mirrored uh, at Digital Docs, my profile, and they're just under Docs is the module name. So if you grab that and download the folder and then put in your scripts uh, folder, you should be able to import the module and then run the auto rigging tools. And uh, from there, you can see I built a convenient little uh, shelf up here that you can run some of these, but if you want to just dig into the code itself, you'll find that to uh, launch any of these tools, you just do docs.rig.rootrigger.showUI. This uh, brings up the root rigging tool. Click that and you get this handy little dialogue. You get to name your character. This guy's name is Wukong. And then we want to tell it where our pelvis is. So select the pelvis, click add, and then you can tweak the shape control size if you want but from here we're going to hit create and then it starts our little control rig on the side and then puts it in a uh, just a group to keep things organized we'll drag our meshes in here too and this is a parallel bone structure controlled through shapes and which automatically controls parent joints to so you can always zero the control out and uh, yeah, uh, it is constraining the skin joints to these new control joints and then saving off attributes so that you can disconnect it and reconnect it later. And the root part is simple, but then you could build from there. We'll start with a, a nice spine joint just so we can get this pelvis to work. Click the uh, spine base there and we'll add a new control. It goes and it finds out like hey where's the control group and uh, where's my nearest parent that I know on my side and we'll just drag this up to body control so we can make our pelvis work now that we have that split the pelvis control will affect the butt and not touch any of the other parts and our spine goes up and is now controlled by the body control yeah and uh, now we can safely start our leg and with this little tool here, got something simple up top. You get a create foot locators button. You hit that and uh, you get all these little locators. And this first one here is your ankle. So just snap that right to the ankle. It'll create the uh, control for um, the IK and whatnot right at that position. And then we'll just snap the rest of these over. These are all going to be the reverse IK controls. Here's your heel and toe. Toe wiggle and ball could be put in two different spots, but they're usually at the same spot. We'll put them right under this ball joint. Bring up the mesh, and then you can snap the toe and the heel into about where they should be for the mesh. And then we just add in the bones. Just, nah, just drop that hip in there, and the knee, and the ankle bone, and the ball joint. And then there's two little toe bones in here we can select, that one and that one. And you hit add here, it'll populate it as a list. It'll take however many joints are past the ball and create different little controls for them. And then there's a couple little attributes under here you can use. Again, we have control scale. And then there's pull vector position. I calculate the pull vector position through uh, sampling the vectors of the different joints and then sampling out the plane and drawing out where the pull vector should be. But you can tweak uh, the length of the adjacent angle on the triangle. And then that'll shift kind of where the pitch of the pull vector is. So I like it pretty much straight on the knee so we'll just leave it at one and we'll hit create and it creates our leg rig on this side here's a pull vector that i was talking about just move that around yeah and then basic uh control here with uh extra twist if you like to do it through attribute instead of the pull vector pull vector follow zero it completely follows the foot control here one it uh, only follows yaw so if you go 
up and down. It doesn't do anything, but if you go left and right, it'll follow it around. Handy for however the artist wants to operate. There's a toe wiggle. You just flop that toe around. And then there's ball roll, of course, toe lift, ball swivel, get that nice pirouette that you're always animating those ballerinas for. And then heel lift, just get that heel up. And then stretch, zero is uh, off. So you pull it down, nothing happens. But then you just grab the stretch attribute and uh, you can just zero to one, you know, start stretching those IK joints out if that's what you want. Zero that back out. And uh, all the IKFK switching is put on the root here. So you see we have the uh, IKFK switch. You know, go back here to FK. Here's all your joints, but in nice FK form. And then uh, we have template and visibility. So visibility, you can turn it on, and then you see all the controls all at once in case you're trying to figure out where the uh, IK is when you're going to it. And then you can also turn on templating, which templates the control structure you're not currently using. So let's switch this back and forth, and you can see it's templating the IK or the FK, depending on whatever you're not using. Handy if you want to see it, but you don't want to touch it, you know? So turn those back off, and we'll go back to IK. And then, um, of course, you just pop up the tool here again, and we can bust out the other leg real quick. Knee and ankle and ball joint. And those little toes get back in here. List, locators, right where we want them. Watching me try to select stuff. That's the, that's the best YouTube video. Come here. Right where we want the ball. Mesh back on. Toe location. Heel location. Yeah. And then that's all set up. And then create. And it makes um, a different uh, wireframe indice for the left to the right side automatically. It'll sample the position and make sure it's the right color. And cool. We got our two little legs all rigged up already. I'm just trucking right along. And uh, then there's also the arm uh, window. So through here, we can select, do we want to create a clavicle rig, an arm rig, and a hand rig? Yeah, sure, all three. Okay, we got all the bones for it. And then we just tell it, here's our clavicle, here is our shoulder bone, and here is our elbow, and here's our wrist. And then from there, uh, there's a function that goes through the wrist children and finds out the fingers for you, so you don't have to select all those out. I'll have to write that for the toes at some point, too. And then for control, for the pull vector position on the arm, I usually like to swing it out a little bit. We'll do 0.96. Just put it a little bit further out because always swing in that arm in front of you so it's better to have it out than in, as you'll see. Hit create. Generates the rig. Here we have our, um, I like this, IK control for the clavicle. And then uh, from there, it's defaults to uh, the FK arm. And then down here on the, t on the fingers, you can see that there's uh, IK controls for all the metacarpals. If um, you have them, it'll rig them up like this. If you don't, it'll skip them. And then uh, on each of them, we have base, mid, and tip for uh, just being able to quickly animate your entire finger. And you can select multiple of these uh, controllers. And then yeah, use this nice spread. Oh, yeah spread and then twist and then from there we can go ahead and rig the other arm bring up the arm clavicle shoulder elbow wrist arm, hand, yes, and then mirror that pull vector value, 0.96, and create. And then, now that we have both of our arms, you can see, we select the root. All of these are in here. We uh, have our IK-FK switches. We can bring our arms over to uh, IK, and we have the template visibility selection, just like we had before on the legs. 
uh, uh, twist and stretch in here and uh, all works, both FK and IK are underneath the same clavicle control. Uh, yeah. Pull vector, you know, you see what I was talking about before, where it's swung out more, like, uh, just in case, like, you know, because you don't usually do this operation a whole lot. You know, you're more swinging the arm in front, and you want the you want the IK to work that direction a lot more often. But yeah, uh, that is uh, the couple of uh, auto riggers I have now. I still want to build an auto spine rigger right now. Uh, Still have to do that by hand, but I got to figure out exactly what all I want to support with that, and then build it up and keep submitting it up to uh, the uh, GitHub account. So if you uh, check it out, subscribe to it, you can pull down any updates I do. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Check it out, and uh, hopefully I'll keep throwing Python code up there for you guys to check out. Later.